Now, the NGC Bocas Lit Fest is back. The annual literary festival takes place from April 28th to the 30th. And this year, the children's storytelling caravan will also make a return. And so joining us to talk more about it this morning is children's programming manager, Miss Melvina Hazard. And of course, no stranger to the now morning show set, uh, Bocas Lit Fest marketing and media manager, Mrs. Arlette Liz Williams. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Very good. At this Excited. rate, I should probably be hired. Listen to me. At this rate, I think we <laughs> are contract. <laughs> you should come and join us on the set. Yeah. <laughs> You're all going and we appreciate you, Alan. Really, we do. Thank you. Uh, Melvina, of course, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank and I'm you, coming family. to you first because tell us about the Children's Storytelling Caravan. Okay, so we're very happy to have the Children's Storytelling Caravan, the NGC Children's Storytelling Caravan back in person. And um, we've been doing it for the last 18 years where we go all over the country, at least 10 venues, um, and we have a storytelling session and then we do a writing workshop with children and then the stories that are produced from those workshops are published in a book um, that's then given to back to the children and sold and also published in the Trinidad Express. Nice. Now for uh, anybody who's listening at home, any parent listening at home, how interesting is the route this year? Is it across Trinidad and also in Tobago? Yes, actually from tomorrow we're going to Tobago nice. to the Children's Library in Scarborough. Then, so that's one set of the caravan. Then mm -hmm. there's another team that's going to Arima Public Library and then moving up to Lopino. So there's going to be some nice treats for the children in all of those, um, in all of those sessions. Next week, we are going to Rio Claro, to the Rio Claro Public Library, and then in the afternoon to the Mayaro Resource Center. The following week, on the 15th, we are going to Kuva Public Library and then coming back up to the Diwali Nagao site in Shogonas. And then we ending, oh, sorry, and then we, there's so many of them. <laughs> and then we are now heading up north um, on the 22nd, which is Eid. We are going to the Mature Government Primary School, then heading further up to Toko um, Secondary School. And then we are coming back down during the festival on the 29th at Nalis, where we are finalizing the caravan on a very high note. Yeah. I love that I heard those rural areas yeah, as well. Yeah, of course. Alice, it's I'm important. coming to you. Uh, how can children participate, or parents rather, register their children for this? Well, you can go onto the Bocas Lit Fest website. I mean, everything is there, um, including the registration form. Some of the places are already full. I <laughs> just yes. But you can also follow our um, social media so you get the updates. Um, what's next, what's sold out. So it's at Bocas Lit Fest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. You need to be locked on that to know what's mm -hmm. closed off and what you um, can look forward to. Yeah. Alvina, I'm coming back to you. Is there an age limit for this? Yes, so it's 5 to 12, so primary school age, so because the workshops, um, the workshop is broken down into two sections. We have a 5 to 8 group and then a 9 to 12 group. So we would do two simultaneous workshop sessions after the general storytelling session. Now, of course, this is a, a storytelling caravan, and so we're encouraging the children to tell their story, mm -hmm. which, of course, ties into the theme mm -hmm. of Bocas Lit Fest, of course, What's Your Story? Yes. Uh, how were you able to merge the two, knowing that you have these young minds who are maybe going into this for the first time? Okay, so what we've done is that we've, we have titles for each session. So we try to theme it to, to the area. So Tobago, of course, you know, the main ridge forest reserve was assigned UNESCO, um, um, the designation. Mm -hmm. So for Tobago, it's Friends of the Forest Reserve, and that could be anything, you know, friends, it could be trees coming to life, animals, you know, famous five type children. Um, then in Arima, it's the Arima dial goes out of time. Mm. For Lopino, it's the ghosts who love chocolate. Um, for Rio Claro, it's um, um, Dragonzilla, who's the uh, mascot, and yes. the Makosha's Makor, because that's <laughs> environmental. Yes. For Mayaro, you know, we're looking at Something that is current, you know, with the, the roads being disappearing, so the road had disappeared. Mm. Then when we go up to Coover, it's my friend from Venezuela, my new friend from Venezuela, because we want to promote tolerance. Mm. Um, Shogunas, Granny and I go back in time. You want to look at legacy. Uh, then we, when we go to Matura, it's um, when the video game came to life, you know, so that could be anything. So I realize that you're also touching on different genres as well. Yes, they can of tell course. a creative nonfiction, yes, they can go into yes. sci-fi and fantasy. I love exactly. that. Now, one of the things I love from the storytelling caravan is Dragonzilla. Will mm -hmm. he be making a return? Of as well? course, <laughs> Dragonzilla has been resting in his underwater cave out in the Bocas there. <laughs> so we have we getting him all up nice and cleaned, and he's going to be very busy. 
He's, yeah, he's going, we're going to have to give Dragonzilla a lot of dragon juice. <laughs> <laughs> to get oh, yes. for the yes. <laughs> now, Alex, I'm coming to you because, of course, yeah. the storytelling caravan is part of the bigger NGC Bocas yeah. Lit Fest. Tell us about it. So the NGC Bocas Lit Fest runs from the 28th to the 30th, or usually the last weekend in April. Right. Multiple events converge during the festival, including the First Citizens National Poetry Slam, where the finals will fall on the 30th of April. We have the children's. NGC Bocas Children's Festival inside of the festival. <laughs> so parents can bring their children and have them in the festival, not for us to babysit, of course, <laughs> and have their own um, um, events that they can attend to, which are like 80 events with over 100 participants. Mm. Children's Festival has its own thing going on. And the caravan is the lead up to that. So the storytelling theme itself is more, we, we want to hear the stories. We want people to know how to tell their stories, how to consume stories, how to interpret stories. All of that comes together. And now we have a membership, which is Friends of Bocas. So if anyone really wants to get and tap into directly supporting us, we're now putting that out there that you can, first of all, get your little benefits, including discounts and so on for the <laughs> slam. Look out for that. And, um, and, yeah, and just connect with us on a different level. So there are multiple things happening this year, and it all comes from the space of creating a place for people to tell stories and creating a platform for it to be heard and for others to be inspired to do the same. Now, we only have a few minutes left. The children's festival that you mentioned, is that on the last day of the festival, or when does that take place, and what do we see in that festival? During the festival During itself. The, festival the itself. same three wow. days. Yeah. It's a simultaneous. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a lot. It's yes. a small team, but we're doing and it's a, a full, Yeah, it's a full festival. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have 10 young writers mm. who are going to be participating. Five of them actually came out of the NGC Dragonzilla short story ch writing ch um, challenge, which we did in lieu of the caravan nice. during um, COVID. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's good to have, you know, to see those children from the caravan, to see that children from all over the country, mm -hmm. you know, are becoming published writers and they're in a festival. We have art workshops, mm -hmm. we have an interactive museum. Yeah. We have a lot of fun. It's a lot of it's a good. It's plenty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it sounds, it yeah. sounds interesting, ladies. Let yes. me thank you so much for coming in. Of course, yes. I'm coming back to you, Ala, just to remind us where we can get those application forms. And apart from that, any other information we want to know about the NGC Bocas Lit Fest? Well, go to bocaslitfest.com. Go to at bocaslitfest on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You'll get all the links, all your updates there. If you really, if you also want to come to the slam, which is the high closing event of the festival, you can go to at National Slam TT, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Boca Slit Fest's website as well to get information and updates on that. The same place you can get information on Friends of Bocas and join us there. And you will find out about the children's caravan. Go and download the guide. You'll see everything that you want to get into and that you want to invite other people to come to. Yeah. Well, Alec Malvina, let me thank you ladies so much for coming in this morning. All the <laughs> best you. for the festival. Like I said, I'm going to be coming to see Dragonzilla. Oh, wow. but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the best for the festival. And of course, congrats on, on, on the return. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and that is how we end this one. But you're on a now morning show. We're going to take a break and come back. Stay with us. We have so much more. Stay with us. <laughs>